DSS arrests EFCC chairman Ibrahim Magu over some financial fraud. These are many other things I'll be talking about in this particular video. Just before I jump right in, I want you guys to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media. Just before I start talking about um, you know, Ibrahim Magu and the rest, I want to talk about President Muhammad Buhari. This is the first time I'm seeing a sitting chairman of EFCC being arrested by the DSS, and that is something I will give kudos to you know, our president, President Muhammad Buhari, at this particular time, because I have not seen it, even when they have a lot of corruption uh, you know, cases on them, a lot of people tend to actually protect them, especially the president of the country. But right Right now, uh, DSS actually arresting this man on a recent raid at his uh, office at Huse 2 um, office in Abuja. And then a lot of people are now writing a lot of things about this. And that is all interesting. This is coming in wake of Hush Poppy and his uh, gang being busted by the FBI. As they started mentioning names, a lot of uh, politicians are trembling at this particular time. But that is not in relation to this because according to the allegation leveled against the EFCC boss is that he actually owned uh, about four properties in Abuja that worth billions of Naira and then transferring of fund to you know foreign account in other um, countries using third party account is something interesting and a lot of people have actually come out in the past to accuse this man of pifaring that is stealing the stolen fund or the recovered fund and that is something interesting but what do you have to make out of this do you think that uh, the efcc uh, boss is not guilty of this or is guilty i don't want to talk in that light i want to talk what is really happening in our society because a lot of people appears to be happy about this on social media like what i checked recently about the tweet retweet on this particular issue a lot of people seeming to be happy with mr president taking some kind of steps both steps against uh, corrupt persons in the government and that is something interesting we all understand how efcc operates when they arrest you they will actually show you on social media and then do social media justice at the end we compromise a lot of things and a lot of people have actually reported on that but right now the efcc boss has been busted by the DSS and now a lot of people are talking about it criminal has been caught why a lot of people are saying that uh, you know Amroba don't catch criminal and that is something interesting but this has actually dented the image of um, EFCC so far that is one thing that a lot of people believe about this whole thing and a lot of people are saying that EFCC in the past has been so biased and right now is an opportunity of uh, these guys to actually um, you know go after the EFCC chairman and make sure he pays for what he has done in the past this guy is an acting chairman he's not the real chairman of EFCC because uh, the National Assembly failed to actually confirm this guy to become the chairman of ESCC. Even when the presidency actually presented this guy as their candidate to fit in into that position. But right now, they'll be thinking that we told you that this guy is corrupt because he has a lot of charges against him. Even in 2016, 2010, a lot of cases against this guy. But the presidency didn't listen to the people. And now another thing is singing out already on social media. But I I think uh, President Muhammad Buhari has actually done well to enforce or to do this thing and allow the DSS to do their job arresting this guy. But a lot of people will say that President Muhammad Buhari is actually doing it for his personal benefit. I don't think it's for personal benefit. That is what I don't think because this guy has a lot of cases against him and which the evidence is obvious. Like um, in recent time, it was actually reported and discovered that his um you know 40 million naira um, rental apartment is being paid by a private individual from one 
Umar Muhammad and that is something that is unethical in the DSS because the commission is supposed to pay for your rental apartment as the acting chairman that is one thing that a lot of people are still pointing at and what do you think about this do you think that this is another scandal rocking Nigeria at this particular time because a lot of people in this time of social media in this time of internet are going to hear it around the world and they are going to look at Nigerians with a different kind of eyes. Meanwhile, Hodge Poppy and his friends are facing a huge financial allegation, financial crime, financial persecution in US and across other countries. Other countries are waiting for Hodge Poppy to finish his case in US. There is a kind of allege that Hodge Poppy has engaged Mark Garagos, uh, Michael Jackson's lawyer, and that is something interesting. Why a lot of people are saying that even though he go engage Michael Jackson lawyer eh? he not go fee come out from this particular case and I think uh, Hodge Poppy has a lot of evidence pointing against him and I think it's not going to be easy for him to deal with but one thing I understand for sure is that Hodge Poppy may land in uh, an Hollywood movie that is the script Hodge Poppy story into a movie and then give it to the world to actually watch because uh, this kind of financial crime is one of the huge financial crime in recent time uh, that US FBI have actually unlocked uh, so far and that is one thing that a lot of people are still talking about on social media what do you have to say about this whole issue DSS reading uh, EFCC chairman uh, acting chairman Magu Ibrahim Magu and now is on the news for financial fraud for scam for you know stealing from the public fund and that is something interesting because a lot of people will be mocking at this guy we understand how Magu has been working in recent time because a lot of people are saying that okay this guy is too biased is working in uh, you know a particular line of action that is working in a particular you know class of politi politics and is working for some kind of political party and uh, right now he has been arrested I think a lot of things uh, is going to be unfolded in this particular story and then a lot of people is going to hear a lot of things but Hodge Poppy has started singing names already and now a lot of people are shaking at this particular time if you know you had something that you've done with Hodge Poppy man prepare for your wars at this particular time that is one thing I would advise a lot of people guys what do you have to make out of this do you think that um, Hush Poppy is going to make it out of uh, you know US um, you know kind of uh, judicial system because I don't think even though Hush Poppy hires the best lawyer in the world is not going to make it out because Hush Poppy has a lot of evidence pointing against him guys consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across all social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media enjoy these videos look at this scamming ass nigga To follow Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. Nobody should ask me for money. You see this place, this place, this place, this place. Now problem full now. Problem for my body, oh problem for my body. I get my problem, I don't come meet you. Make nobody ask me for money. I broke, gone. I don't get in advance. I don't get, I repeat, I don't get. Ah, yeah. uh, how about you they pay me?